if I can do I can change something to make the stream quality better. Hold on. That Versailles should help. Does he have any rare? No, but these <laughs> poor elephant. But now this elephant doesn't know he, he's gonna run to a castle. But seriously, seriously, one hit dead, two hit dead. Nope. So far the raids have been not so successful, let's say. For Momo, his best plan would rather be to just finish the Versailles and finish. I actually connected even a land cable and it still doesn't work as well. I don't know what's what's wrong here. That's a plus three wood, uh, better than nothing. The only problem with this army is that I don't see a lot of cavalry. Actually, there is no heavy cavalry. Wally is just going all in on elephants. It's not a stalemate for sure because First of all, uh, Versailles here, don't forget Versailles is huge. Versailles is huge because that it gives you the, it gives you so many advantages right now. This is French power in, this is, this is exactly what people pick French for, the healing. So Moa's got healing top of that he's got other powers of Versailles which are non-knowledge cost reduced that means this science 3 just cost 150 gold wealth so Mamelukes do kill Ali that's right uh, it's just that you need a lot of them but you can kill I wouldn't definitely say counter because Remember, Mamelukes die to almost everything else. If you have enough Archibus, if you have enough crossbows in your army, then they can take care of the elephants. Yeah, it's a 3-1. This is, this is happening again. 3-1. <laughs> it's just Meliodas versus Mouse left now. And I'm also excited to see that game because I'll be playing against the winner. So maybe 3-1 again there. Excellent play, excellent play here. I think, look, just an analysis of this army. All of these units could die to heavy cavalry. I have a feeling that if Momo, if Warley brought heavy knights, he may have had a better chance here. Very well done by Momo. Let me see what all the, what all qualities does it have. So there's the healing. Wait, isn't this isn't this the the French the siege artillery and supply units move faster? And then the non line.
Hey guys, welcome to the stream. We've got Warley versus Surge today. Let's look at the winner prediction polls. Surge is in the lead, two more votes than Warley. It's not a huge difference, however, as I've said before, only time these polls have been wrong was Dante versus Prolace. This is the only poll that was ever wrong. Every other poll, it has been exactly how people predicted it. For Linky versus Naoto, prediction is Linky. It's not. It's only a single vote difference, but well, that's what the people think. So let's start the game. We have a best of five ahead of us. Game number one. We got Sahara and interesting. So Surge has not banned Iroquois. Surge has also not banned. Well, Iroquois is, is, is a it's a wild card on Sahara and many other maps actually. I think Iroquois do very well on Amazon. They do very well on Himalayas. But Sahara, of course, being an open map, they're they're always great. And Surge has decided to keep them open, so of course he has to be expecting them. He has banned Lakota, Mongols, Bantu. Both the elephant nations are banned for him. Warley has banned none of the elephant nations. He's banned Spain, Dutch, Lakota, Mongols, Inca. So Lakota, Mongol are the, the only common bans. I am surprised Surge did not ban Dutch because that means Warley has a secret weapon. And Dutch on a water map, I think we have seen against games with Dragon Eel how strong Dutch can be. Right, Warley delayed his barracks to get a ruin. Oh man. Personally speaking, building a barracks with one villager, it's a bad idea. You want to get this out as soon as possible. Also good for Surge, he has just the right nation to counter. He picked Persians and Persians do get a good start. So if, if Surge is able to keep the Ruin bonus balanced, he is in a good position. Now Iroquois, they are still, they're still insane. But not to forget that Persians, they get bonuses. One of their bonuses is extra food, cheaper sieve, uh, cheaper sieve, which allows them to do something like this. A city and uh, civic, I mean military and a barracks. And looks like he's been getting very nice ruins. Just 2 minutes 30 seconds in, he has everything. So that tells me, never mind, he has got decent ruins, but Warley is still in, on the lead. For Warley, he has got spices, he's got diamonds, very good rares to start with. Copper is crap, so his corner rares are absolute garbage. For Surge, his corner rares are absolute treasures, relics, and gems. And he gets 30 food in his city. So I think home rares, home rares are slightly better for Warley, although I would argue that bison and wine are amazing. But the corner rares are absolute steals for Surge. Now the thing is, against Iroquois, it is hard to defend corner rares. Let's see how well Surge does that. Um, Warley has not scouted gems yet, and Warley has not been able to raid at all. Like All of his raids are faced. Warley does get the center wood clo a lot closer to him. So that's great for him. Surge is about to age up. Man, look, this is great for Persians. Even with 150 ruins behind, Surge is able to... I also note that Surge has not created any food units. He's only created one archer. Yeah, he's just created one archer. So he's all good. He did not have to spend food. Well, Warley did have to spend food. But for in, in Warley's case, what he gets is uh, really nice juicy diamonds here and spices. Warley should also be in, in a place to age. Surge is going for relics. With, and he has two, uh, he has one archer here. Surge 
Senator is out. One tower coming up here. And a lookout. It's an interesting lookout. We know that Iroquois cannot hide. However, this lookout does provide line of sight. And it's always good to be able to see your opponent before they are in your territory. At this point, all Wally has to do is just... Yeah, I mean, all Surge has to do is just take these raids. Meanwhile, if he can boom, that's even better. And he, he also has relics. And Surge is reinforcing this with, uh, with units. I actually like this city a lot. It gives him two mountains. And of course, gems is... Gems is a real treasure here, right? If you can hold gems, you've got your life set. However, this also gives a front for Warley to raid. Ooh, so we got units and... Uh, bro, you're not gonna fight this? So, if... I, I, I'm actually surprised Warley let that archer go. That archer should have been followed. So, and Surge still has it here, man. He still has it. But yeah, as, as I said, co saving corner rares are going to be a pain against Iroquois. Now, this corner rare, Surge has it in his bag. He's he's all good with this. Bro, what the fuck? Check this out. Civic level 3. Surge is getting another city here. I think he feels like better to just have this covered. Like, he... he yeah, I, I, I can see why he would do that. He just wants to have this wood camp instead of lying out in the open. Just has it covered. Meanwhile, Warley does get a front city. His eco is looking alright. But yeah, again, Surge has the Civic 3, which gives him Vassalage. Vassalage, it's an expensive upgrade, but uh, Persians get it for free. Another merchant going for relics. I'm actually surprised wine is not being used yet. Eco looking great here. Yeah, Eco looking solid for Surge as well. He's got three caravans, 113 wealth income. Warley has just sent out his caravans. So yeah, it'll be a while before they set up. But yeah, you can you can see the, these these caravans are very much exposed. This is this is not a good caravan route to have for search. And very likely he'll have to reinforce it here because caravan's route cannot be changed, right? So the only thing he can do there is a cavalry waiting here. Wally has also planted a scout on gems. That's great. I think these, these cavalry will die at the same time. Let's just let's look at two cavalry dying at the same time. Oh, damn. Pro probably a few microseconds, man. Good trade for Surge. It, it's also Wally's fault, though. Because Wally is away from home, he cannot be taking equal trades. He only he should only be taking trades that are better for him. Eco looking great here. Surge, uh, he's just guarding this city, this place. He he's expecting some attacks from on this side. There is a lookout coming on here. Now I do think this is a very bad lookout unless unless this lookout is just to prevent city capture, because the city already gives him enough line of sights. So yeah, you see no additional line of sight what was provided. Wally is also trying to get a raid on Bison. There are no units here, so this Bison merchant. Maybe it will garrison inside, let's see. It's closed. Can search garrison this inside. Yeah, he can garrison inside. So nothing, nothing lost over there. Search about to get, okay. Search almost got, almost got a bribe, but that was close. And for Surge, all he has to do is just keep defending these raids. He doesn't even have to raid. <laughs> okay, Surge is extremely lucky. Extremely lucky that Warley has crappy corner rares. Because he he has not even scouted it. And good for him, he doesn't have to scout. 
He does not have to scout these rares, man. Olex has 4-3 for Warley or 4-0, man. Th that's a big range. Oh, a, a light horse will be saved. Okay, that, that light horse. That light horse is dead. Three three heavy cavalry, that's that's a good one. Uh, I, I do think that Warley should be... Uh, he, he's got so much. Put down universities in everywhere where he can. I, I, I like how Warley has placed his scouts. Very well done. Uh, forgot about this unit. But yeah, this thing has to be constantly raided. You cannot... Like, Relics is not the kind of rare that you just let your opponent use. It's massive. It's this is a golden opportunity for Warley. I feel like if he, if he brings in more units, he can create hell for Surge. But at least for now, it looks like Surge has this under, under control. Uh, it's a no, 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 man. Why, why would you bring half dead units, bro? These are all dead. Good thing for Warley. None of the heavy cavalry are lost. Yeah, he needs to spam a lot more units. Ooh, I, I was just saying that he's saving units, but then... Nah, nah, bro, don't do this. Don't do this, man. Don't do this. It would be very funny that he almost made it back with two knights and could lose two of them okay I, I think th this is a terrible this is a terrible decision my man just had dude you forgot about this Yeah, my take is that this this attack is a terrible decision. Maybe it works out. Let's see. But he he's got this amazing raiding potential. Look at this. If you are facing sideways against Iroquois or Bantu, you are in danger. You are in grave danger. But I I think that they, Warley can make this work. Honestly, now. I do not approve of this strategy, but personally, I think Iroquois are best when they're raiding and running. But seeing that there are four cities, and I think I, I can I can see Warley, why Warley would do that. He oh, the city is almost reduced, almost reduced. There is an elephant as well. Yeah, all, uh, there's not a lot of mass. City is still not reduced. No way, the city is not reduced, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa! You know, all the light, all these cavalry are fighting under attrition. One, one. That's one elephant that's taking away entire army's focus. Okay, Surge, Surge will win this micro battle. That was very close. I think I think Warley had it. Yeah, honestly, saying Warley had this for a second. But then all of those units on one elephant while the sieges are not there and the spot is getting sniped. Yeah, this never get, uh, having relics never raided late game. Oh, like what if this is a fake Warley? Yeah, nope, nope, nope. We're not, we're not winning this H5. Well, maybe Search still does not. He has crossbows, which don't get any upgrades in H4. But he, he has, he has crap for an army.
as much as I know Warley, yeah, I do think this real Warley does not play very well with with aggressive nations. Real Warley is great for boom, great boomer. Dragonio was observing. Okay, I think I remember something happened where Warley did not trust Surge for some reason, so he said, "I need to have an observer." And Dragonio, since he's in the organizing team. He observed this game. It's all good. Game one goes to Surge. I think this is not just a win, it's a great win because he did not have to ban Iroquois, which is a very famous, a common ban for players. And not only did he not ban this, he also got a win against them. So perfect for Surge. Go game number two, map chosen by Warley. Warley chooses Mesa and he picks Inca. He has banned Inca, so he knows his opponent cannot pick it. And Surge is Rome. Yes. Uh, to be honest, Romans are a decent counter. Well, let's say they they play very well against Inca. So, but Inca is kind of a hack at after a point. Let's look at the ruins because if, if Inca gets good ruins, bro, look at this ruin count. Oh man. Okay, Wally has to win this. There's, there is no, there is nothing else I would expect right now. That's a four times ruin difference. And that's exactly the only time Inca is killable is early game. Because in early game, Inca has absolutely no bonuses. So they are they are crap. But once they get their shit handled, once they have everything together, they're great. And Wally is in that position. Although, what? Barracks? Anyway. But you can see, you can see how much... Inca is behind Romans that with four times the ruins this is yeah he, he went for civic too but uh, also this Pappy is huge whoever captures this Pappy will have a big advantage throughout the game Wally does have die and he also has peacocks so I like what Serge is doing he knows that Inca is not going to be aggressive early game absolutely not right so He's just making the best use of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going to be... Okay, if he, if he builds a city here, this is going to be so funny, man. This is going to be so funny. Holy shit. I was actually expecting Surge to rage quit, but I, I remember. Surge is a lot more controlled than that. I know Prolays would have rage quit. Like, if, if his plan was to sieve here. At the same time, if this city did go up, it would be a terrible city for Surge. His caravan... There is no place. This caravan would have to go from here all the way through Warley's territory. <laughs> Animation of hatred. Right. So I'll tell you one way how Warley can ruin this. If he goes Senator. Going Senator would mean he has allowed Surge to go unpunished with this. I remember the game against Dragoneo. Surge did the exact same thing and Dragoneo punished him hard. Because this is not something you should do. Especially against Bantu, that was a no-no. But against Warley, actually this would have worked 100% if we did not have this kind of ruin bonus. This is the only reason where I, where I think Warley can punish him. Otherwise, with equal ruin bonuses, this would work absolutely well against Inca. No problem. So are we going to see that spot? Okay, that spot it is. Stable is here. Military 2 is here. Surge is Senator. Just going to chill. Get a tower here. Hmm. 
Will this hoplite kill Spice? Nah. Good defense. Good defense by Cyrus. Bro, just take it back, man. You're not... Never mind. Great eco. This is this is amazing. Now if if Warley all he has to do is keep keep being annoying and he's got it. And this is an amazing city by the way. This city allows Warley into Serge's eco. 154 knowledge. So let's see, Serge. He knows about Pappy. Also, you know what? Warley could siege this entire city from the top of this mountain. That would be funny. Maybe in H4, we would see that. Uh... Oh, very, ni very nice save. Very nice save by Warley. More units coming. He got, he got it. He got a unit, man. 150 wood income, not bad. Overall, things are looking fine. He's aging. Got science three. Okay, I I think Warley got this, man. Hey, Prolace. I I think Warley got this. He's got a superior eco, and his library looks just clean. Is that a, is that a fort? This this fort could have been even farther, right? Yeah, search is dead meat. Unfortunately. While he got the Pappy, I think if he was despot and if he had units being made continuously, it could be a different situation. But senator against this kind of aggression does not help. Senator is good with when the difference between your units is two or three unit difference, and senator can help you out with those bribes, just carrying away your units. Oh, here's a castle, and here's a siege factory. That, that's a nice one. Maybe maybe he wants to go for Cusco. But he still needs resources for that. So let's see. It's, Warley does not know about any of this. So he does not know about the castle. And luckily for Warley, he does have enough mountains. He doesn't have to worry about that either. Hold up, hold up. Did he scout it? He, he did scout that there are units here. He did not scout the siege factory because that siege factory, that would, that would be something. Oh, anyway, Serge has his capital right in front and Warley is already sieging. The raids are great. Raids are cooking great so far. I think that's why most people will ban Inca. Not because Inca are too good. I think Inca are beatable. But with a setup like that, as in, imagine what can you, what can you do about this? Surge has no access to Warley. There is this tiny window, and there is this. Maybe Surge should have sieved here instead of here. But then he, in that case, he gives up Pappy. Hey sir, just don't be in the chat. Do not want any spoilers or any conversations. And same for Warley. Warley, if you're in chat, just do not participate. That's a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that, that was an insane ruin difference. I think... Yeah, this was not winnable. Serge would have to... He would have to rush at some point. And going Civic 2 just made sure that he gets even more behind. Yeah, man, Mesa is terrible. I don't, I don't think anybody should be picking Mesa. I feel the same for East meets West because maps like those are at the, you are at the mercy of the map spawn and sometimes rare resources. Like how Mouse picked East meets West and Warley had Citrus. In that case, you're 
you're going to be fighting uphill throughout the game. Mesa has some of the shittiest terrains can completely block you from scouting. Game number two. I, I am so surprised that search I mean, Wally did not ban Bantu. You just don't keep Bantu, man. Anyway, Wally is gone for... Yeah, Wally is gone for... Ooh, another city! Civic 2! Okay, a, lo a lot of it's also going to be decided by Ruins. Wally has... The city is not in... Uh enemy radius so he he can as in these villagers have absolutely no effect if this city was in enemy territory then villagers can stop also getting his barracks down and yes Serge loses his wood camp um, well he, he has it a little bit but l it's looking like just from just from how much uh, how much uh, library progress he has he did not get way too many ruins. He has comparable ruins to. Oh, he could he could pick this up. Oh man, what oh, so unlucky, so unlucky. But he'll pick this up probably. Yeah, that he could have had two ruins, which is something he needs right now. Yeah, he absolutely needs those ruins. At the same time, these raids, Bright Bowman. Let's see how much they do damage because. He's against, he's fighting against attrition. And the longer he stays in this territory, the more trouble it is for him. Yeah, th this, this becomes a great place for for him actually. I, I think Warley should have, should have got a, a, a wood camp here maybe. Just because, just because he knows he's right against the Bantu player. Serge is just not aging, man. He, he doesn't like to age. Dude, he, does he have gems? Why does this border push look like he has gems? Okay, he does not have gems. He has bison, which knowing Russians is going to be hard to raid that. Serge gets Pappy, Peacocks, decent rares. Oh, wait, Serge gets gems. So if we look at this half of the map, Silk, Pappy, Gems, Horses, Peacocks. I would say Surge has great rares. Warley has Die, however, it's not very close. If both of them are going for Gems. Warley gets Bison, Salt. I would prefer Surge's rares for this one. Yeah, Horses is great. Pappy, of course, great. And Peacocks is great. But... Yeah, this is still this is still a time where Russians can be dangerous. You have to be very careful when going into R Russian territory. Hold up, guys. Hey Serge, do not be in the chat. I'll time you out. The last warning. Any players whose game is being cast should not be in the chat. Right, we're back. Getting a city here. Does he know about horses? He does not know about horses. Otherwise, he probably has would sieve there. I do think even generally he should be saving there because he gets closer to capturing gems also uh, equilibrium no toxic chat about anybody uh, I'll also time you out there 
Yeah, he, he's sort of just struggling with wood here. Good thing he has gems. So both of, I mean, both of them are using gems, but the line of sight of the merchants don't, don't allow. Death spot coming. Very chill game so far. Yeah, just this card is just going to be used for scouting. Okay, that capital is way too forward. I I feel I feel scared about that capital. Oh, he did get the religion upgrade, and he's getting another temple here. That would be big. I, I am curious if he wants to use this die or not. It has been kind of a very passive game on both the sides. Oh, by Serge is looking for... Uh, yeah, he's going for an attack move on City of Bryans. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So even if Serge, I mean, Varley ages, the city does not go big. It's risky doing this against Russians, but well, let's see. Let's see. Maybe it will work out because Wally doesn't have too much. That's five heavy cavalry. Yeah, that's that's a good number of heavy cavalry. Search. I mean, Wally could be in trouble. And his units, uh, unit upgrades have not come through yet. Dude, did you just take a fight with... Oh my god. Warley just went in without upgrading his horses. That was four horses. Even if he kills the despot. That was a bad trade for him. Yeah, I, I think Serge got this one. He has a better eco than Warley. And Warley isn't really doing much. No raids from him. Oh, this castle. This is this is a risky castle. Okay, and Search sees it, and Search will go right after it. Good one. Yeah, that castle is out. Maybe go for it, go for it. Ah, oh, nah, that unfortunately, that that won't work. He needs a lucky bribe. He needs a good bribe, bro, bro, bribe, bribe right now. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I get excited just because that's the only thing he can do right now. Still no bribe. Still no bribe. This trap, this trap is also nice. He really doesn't like to bribe, right? There was a great opportunity to get at least get one unit or just... Even if it was just about being annoying. Okay, okay. A lot of villagers are dying. To save this castle. I'm gonna call it guys this is GG well played by Serge he has the units and he, he he's floating tons of resources here GG that's 2-1 I, I don't know what to say about that game. I think Warley could have won that one. Oleg, you're the only player who has ever told me about fake Warley. I need some other people to confirm there is a fake Warley or not.
Otherwise, I think you're just calling Warley fake yeah. when he beats you. Let's go for game number four. Warley. I'll be back in a minute, guys. going game number four warring states Spain versus Japan <laughs> that, that was three ruins right away oh damn two dogs coming up And yeah, of course, Warley can see the whole map, not to forget about that. So he can quickly scout every place. There are not a lot of ruins on this map though, right? Yeah, there, even, even with all the ruins, it's not a lot, but it's more than what Surge can get. And that's what matters. Surge has, he's got the yeah, he's got the military level one and he's building his uh, tri-dream. On that side, Warley does get relics. I think this sh could be Warley's game. So, uh, Surge has gone for a com uh, yeah, commerce level two. But yeah, this citrus, I feel like it's a big problem on every water map. Of course, you can always pick water map, but then something like this happens when you're open in spawns with citrus. That's hard to beat. And now it's Warley's turn to go for crazy rating. There is tobacco being used here. Yeah, so no copper on this map. <laughs> Wait, <Warley. laughs> maybe, maybe we should have had some kind of deal. The real Warley hires fake Warley to do his job. Yeah, Surge is eco looks great, and that's a Japanese thing, right? Japanese are very strong. Thank you. 
Surge has got three cities. So he's covering this island. Warley. So far, Warley has got... Yeah, he's got one island as himself. Um, there is no rare resource on this. So uh, this is... A, I don't know. Maybe this would be a better island. It has less metal, but it has a rare resource. There is absolutely no rare resource on this. But uh, it's not total domination. Sometimes one player gets both the islands. And that's, that's scary. Uh, there is a despot here. Unfortunately for Warley, he does not have... He does not have his scout, which, yeah, it's funny for, he's getting his scout back. But he, for, meanwhile, he's just running around. He could go in and look for some units, but anyway. Okay, that, those, those units can be killed by three cataphracts, for sure. Warley ages up. Now you think about it, Japanese are actually pretty decent. Like, I wouldn't ban them in Elo Legends 1, but in Elo Legends 2, Japanese are worth banning also we have silk damn silk is an awesome rare to have as Japanese yeah pretty strong rare for sure I'm curious about what Warley's plan is here Warley has spice tobacco and relics surge has citrus and citrus amber and silk that citrus is dangerous for sure Some nice raids going on here. Uh, that's that spot could that spot could die. He's not paying attention. Yeah, that spot dies. And now all of these units are under attrition. Yeah, if Surge can kill three three of these, that would be funny. So for a second, I thought he is coming for triple this light horse uh, but no the light horse survives and okay light horse dies but yes Nwarli loses all his knights now yeah this knight's not surviving getting a city here Wally looking great with in terms of knowledge he's got the relics for a long time so he's using that Serge's library is not as good as great but Again, he has citrus, so that citrus is helping him every every second. And look at that! Look at that food income and the wealth income. Japanese are just next level on some maps. Oh, like, bro, problem with hole is that you you have you can start with water in your reach, or you can start with a situation where you are required to first go civic. That's a that's too much of a variable to be dealing with. I think this is a great map for Spain because first it's a weird map. Sometimes there's not even a third island. Sometimes it's just the mainland and one island. And Spain can see all of that. So I think this is the best map for Spain. And this is actually a map where it's very hard to beat Spain. I think if Serge did not have the citrus, he would be in a lot bigger trouble than he is right now. Like, because all of his ships are healing, so he's not getting dominated on water. That, that monarch should be healed, man. A lot of ships there a lot of ships for search and eco is amazing compared to 150 spite sane yeah and with spain it i mean a one to reach age for you know look look at how how quickly this yeah that's that was quick and i do not think there's uh 
Varley can win this water fight. He has to use a lot of fire rafts and just hope. Yeah, he has to. He has to just hope that he can keep these at bay. So this is a problem with water maps and trying to attack in H2, H4, because in H4 you also want to be fighting, killing their water or fighting on water, which requires wood and metal. And wood and metal is also what you need for this. Oh, Serge is coming with a spy. Warley has a second upgrade and Warley, he, okay, he does have an explorer. It's going to be actually dangerous. It's, it's looking very dangerous for Serge. And Warley is still able to ki keep killing some of these ships, which is great for him. I, I, th I think this is, this is a lot closer than I expected. Warley is in an excellent position. Serge has got the second armor and his eco is looking fantastic. Uh, I think if, if, if Warley does not kill here, he's in trouble because that, that kind of eco is hard to fight. 249 wealth. Yeah, almost everything in 200s. Let's go. If, if, if Warley focus fires well, he's got this. Like if he focus fires the knights, these arquebusiers on the right units, bro, what is this scout doing? I see two bribes, two bribes. That is not a joke. That turns the fly, that turns the fight completely around. Despite that, it's it's still looking close. Serge has a lot of units. But he'll, he'll fight this. Okay, th those two bribes. I think those were massive. Because even right now, it's looking like... It's looking like... Warley is fighting. But if those bribes would not go... Very good one by Serge. He's got, he's got five dragoons. How did it get repaired so fast? Okay, Sir, Serge must have used... He, I think he got religion right now. No, he has not got construction yet. Oh, so that's what happened. There is a senator here. Serge did not go for Monarch. That's actually a big deal. So he had one bribe from a spy and he had one bribe. Okay, m man, you gotta move your Monarch forward. Your knights are under attrition. Yeah, these bombards also gotta be moved. I, I think this is the time when uh, Warley can make something happen. Close and get a bribe done. Yeah, he gets a bribe and he gets a full knight. And Warley has stopped producing those nice tercios. Water fights still continue. Surge is continuing to go and kill these ships. Ooh. I don't know what's up. This temple, was it destroyed? But yeah. It, 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 oh, stop. I, I still cannot believe that Surge does not have a monarch. Dude, where are the Tercios? That's literally the strength of... But yeah, he, he's also... He's also getting lo losing his ships. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. And right now, if it's the same units, then Surge, obviously Surge has got the upper hand. Yeah, while, while he's losing eco, you can see that he has lost caravans. I have no clue how this the city. Did, he still did not get construction. Does he have villagers repairing this? Nope. How does the city keep gaining? Finally, one tercio to be seen in sight. That tercio can. Yeah, make short work of all of these units. Here's a bribe coming! 
And heavy knight, run away, run away. That heavy knight. Okay, he's luring away the senator. And Japanese going H5. Let me see. Yeah. Now this was a difficult fight actually. To be, to be very honest, it was a difficult one because that citrus means Warley, he cannot do much in water. Uh, he had to do this. I just think maybe he what he could have done is slightly better micro could have helped here. He could have also bribed units, but he is fighting against against a much better eco and he is on a clock because yeah it, it's it's just a I, I think now I'm starting to appreciate the first elo legends where water maps were not allowed and water maps are fun it's just that maybe in a future tournament we could ban copper and citrus like nobody uses them at all what do you guys think do you think that makes it fair or unfair but yeah, anyway, as I said, it's just impossible to fight against that. So it's inevitable that Warley loses on water. And here, I think he also for, he did, also did not make a lot of Terceos. So these Terceos are huge. You gotta keep pumping them. They are the biggest strength. Yeah, he could also win. I'm, uh, I'm saying that that's something that he could do. Of course, a better micro. Well played. That's a 3-1 in favor of Surge. Very well done. This is uh, game point. Hey Dragonio. Well, I, I, I don't know man because if you have enough wood to keep making temple and uh, killing temple, that means you could also use it for army. But yeah, that, it, it's, it's a trick for sure that works out. Also, at the same time, Wally never had a bigger army to capture that city. Because I think if he had the bigger army, he would have also destroyed the army. He always had sieges. I think that temple trick works out when... If you can kill your opponent sieges, and then you realize that your city is still ha it still has a lot of HP. That works out. But Wally was with three sieges all the time. Game number four. We are on Himalaya. So Warley has chosen Himalaya. Interesting. Egypt versus Delhi. What Egypt has, Egypt ha is the counter to Delhi. But it says, I mean, Indians are amazing in this game. The free elephant upgrades, all, nothing increases in cost. All of that is huge. Lucky for Warley, he gets gems. That's always helpful. Now, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> My diamonds and furs. Uh, I I'd give it to search for better home rares. Yeah, two rares that are almost never going to be rated compared to cotton and gems. Gems is nice, but yeah, cotton cotton is crap. Oh, if Warley has to win this, he needs he needs more ruins. Gems Merchant coming up. Alright, so here's the age. I think Warley got a better setup, I think. Yeah, Warley got three more ruins. So that's great for Warley. He absolutely needs it. Senate. University. And... Table coming on this side. And camels. Nothing from Surge. Ooh. Nice city. The surge is using 
Oh, no elephants, right? Yeah, no elephants. Just, just light cavalry. That's four camels. Don't forget, four camels is a lot of camels. Oh, he needs one of the camels to be attacking the city. Uh, it's a tough one, man. Saves a camel. I, I don't know if any units died here. Nothing died. Oh, Harley was here for a long time for four with four camels and no villagers died. That's a big win for Surge. H3 coming. Some raids here and some raids here. That's a lot of raiding party. Ooh, if 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 this is a juicy place to raid. Unfortunately, they, this army would be great to raid here because these light cavalry will take forever to kill. Poor scout. A city coming here. This is also a copper. So these units are... Not... Okay, I've noticed this. I, I don't know if these this was... Did it just take damage or Warley just sends half dead units for raiding? I've, I've noticed Warley does that a lot. Oscar, uh, information age. Well, you have to survive till information age. That's why. The problem is it takes a long time to get there. In very close games, maybe. I, I don't know... If we have ever seen even modern age in a tournament, I cannot remember. Nice raids. Also, bro, why would you come here with this cataphract? Just let this cataphract go. Yeah, Serge is looking great. He, he he still hasn't made a single elephant. But that city, of course, will go up. There is no way that city stays small. Unless... unless Maybe Warley just goes in. Because there is no barracks. I mean, Warley does not have anything. I mean, Serge does not have any, any infantry. A big problem with doing this to elef uh, Indians... It's about the timing, of course, and another thing that it's about is you have to make sure that you take a city that is worth something. Because, as in right now, I think Wally is in a good spot, but at the same time, I do think that if he, if this was his plan, why not go that spot? Getting a castle here. If this castle completes, it's big. It's big. Okay, this is big for search. He absolutely needed. Yeah, now, now, these elephants are going to wreak havoc. I think that spot would have been great for this situation. A force march dude don't tell me don't tell me you're going to go back this is gg's i i think there's just no game plan here that's that's what's going wrong there's absolutely no game plan because that's three sieges that's a lot of sieges that you're making He still has a good chance. I'm just saying that the fact that he still has such a good ego, that means that if he did not make sieges, maybe if he just was raiding, it could have been better. If he could just continue raiding, do his thing, or a despot and go for Mumbai, that would also be great. But anyway, game's not over. Remember that 
every other nation is scared of elephants, but with Egypt, there is Mamelukes. And these Mamelukes are no joke. There is one spy. Uh, camels not upgraded. Bro, camels are not upgraded, man. So it's a single... We have a single stable and a barracks that's not making anything. So he has not upgraded the light camels. The camels and the heavy infantry are not upgraded. Is still alive, but my man, why would you not upgrade these? Do, do these do they get extra? Yeah, I think they do get a kill extra bonus with obsidian, but no, it, it, it's oh, it's over. Yeah, at this time, this, at, at this point, this is. Once you have elephants in your base like that. I, I do want to cry over like, I, I think this game. The fact that after all of this, Warley still was competitive for a while. I'd say Warley had this game. Maybe if he was despot. And he w he went for this, or even even if not that, just go in. Since when you don't see any unit in your opponent city, if your city is not firing, yeah. If the city if the city is not firing, that's your cue that the opponent has nothing, and you should just go in. Very well played by Surge. That's an easy 5-1. No, I, I think Varley had it. Varley could win this game. He has he has a lot of rares in control. While I like diamonds and furs a lot, Varley has a lot of rares that he has in control. He had to go in a little bit. Al always check out how much army your opponent has. Because when this castle was being built, if Warley just went in, that was it. That's all he needed. Some regrets if Warley watches this. I'm sure he has this regret. Because things could have been a lot different. Anyway, that's it. That's end of Warley's journey. Last tournament, Warley was knocked down in round of 8 by Momo. This time he reaches semi-final. So that's progress. Surge was last time also knocked down in round of 8 and this time he's in grand final. So that is big progress. I expect to see a similar thing against Linky or Naoto for Surge. Because I don't know who wins, Linky or Naoto. I, I do think they are... They're going to make it very hard for Surge. But maybe we'll see an upset. Once we have the winner of Linky Naoto... We can have, yeah, once we have the winner, I'll put out polls so we can see. I think that's going to be a very interesting matchup. Right, guys, that's all for the cast today. Let me see, maybe you'll play some games. Anybody up for standard team games?
Ironicus. If there are players for two versus two, I'll play some. Otherwise, that's it for me today. Ironicus, yeah, maybe sometime in future I'll think about that. I had a Patreon before, but I stopped it. We need one more guys if anybody wants to play. It'd be really funny though. If the, if there is if there is really a fake Warly would be crazy that suddenly after three one there's a different Warly playing.
Yo, what's up, Justin? Yo. Let's get another player, man. Go with some good stand. Yeah. One. Bro, I just I'm I'm thinking about a grand final. I don't care, Linky or Naruto, but grand final better be a good one. Like it's a best of nine. I would like a. I think it's gonna be one sided, dude. I think at least a like a five, at least a five two, a five three, five four would be better, but at least a five two. Who do you think has a better chance against, um, like who who's gonna have a strong more edge over search? Probably. Well, in Sahara, I think Naoto is better than Linky, and whatever else, I don't know. Yeah, if it comes down, because Linky has a very, last time against Dante, he has very weird bands, which he almost lost against because of those bands. I mean, Naoto is definitely playing like every day, so, you know, he's going to be more, with more practice, I guess. Yeah, I mean he's taking he's taking really seriously the bands and all that stuff. Mm. Let's see, uh, man, we we had one more player we could start right already. Where is Alan Dragonio when we need them? Dragonio, come bro, get a two v two. I think Naruto is gonna win one sided against Linky. I don't know. This is what I think. I have no idea. It's better, but, My, but against... I, I voted it for Linky. I think Linky. Yeah, you're saying Linky probably. will win. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, Linky almost lost to what was his name? Dante, bro. Uh, but that's the same with both. Oh, we got Siori. Nice. Let's boot Egypt. Sorry, yeah, but yeah. I mean, if you, I mean, if you put Dante and Ugo, I think Ugo is a bit better, to be honest. No, but the nations he lost against, like Dante played his Bantu very well. And what was the other one? Iroko, he, uh, Dante has very good picks. The two games that he won, those were amazing nation picks. Okay, okay. Let's see. We'll, we'll have the game tomorrow, right? Guys in the chat, Linky versus so. Naoto, who do you think is Wednesday winning that? I think very exciting set. Oh, we got OP nations, man. So you really always bans me from his lobbies because he says I'm a noob. It's kind of weird to play with him. Well, he probably has a point, man. Probably. You ever ask him why he bans you? But you're also, yeah. as in... Very disrespectful, so I can see why a lot of players would ban him. I mean, I don't even, I don't even play him because he hasn't even let me join the lobby. I see. Ooh, this is a damn man, such a nice spot. Yeah. Man. As much as I would like to build in a more conventional spot, I'll just go for this. Oh shit. I'm a bit scared. Your Nubian's nice. I mean, I'm not even disrespectful to anyone, to be honest. Oh, nice. Got another one. If you think about it, 
Lakota shouldn't get any more ruins than others, like considering how people are scouting lately. People are scouting very aggressively these days. Almost every nation is Lakota now. <laughs> yeah, right. I think after I came out with that stupid scout scouting way. Yeah, I think a lot of people copied your scouting. But it's, it's not even that good. It's not even that good if you um, if you don't get the enough ruins. <laughs> Come on, Jatin. Don't be like that, bro. What happened? So we were friends. Are you raiding me? I'm not raiding you. Dude, you're against me. Oh, shit. I'm against Sparley. Never mind. I was like, what? Oh, wait. I'm here. I'm getting my ear Okay. Never mind. It's a bit confusing. Hope he doesn't give you. Thank you. Come on. Man, Sir is so bad. My man, Holy you give you this guy is bad. What the fuck, bro? Not helping me at once and give my
second I need to change a hotkey bro can you pause it yeah go <clears throat> Dude, what the fuck I just changed this hotkey
Thanks, bro. Who the fuck is one?
You okay over there? Oh shit, our scores are not hitting. Dude, somebody fucking... Uh, when I was... Changing my hotkey, I don't think it did change.
Holy shit, I gotta you check okay him out. Oh, fuck. Oh, why would he just give up? Oh my god. Because he's getting double, bro. Game. Dude, it's just it's very stupid that he just gives up. I'm telling you, bro, fake barley wouldn't just call it like that. This area is fucking dog shit, though. It's funny when he just take the weirdest routes. Yeah, it's just stupid, man. Nice. Bro, like, give me some time. Why would he just give up? Well played, bro. Perfect. Perfect. Look at those kills, bro. 154. <laughs> yeah, nice one, man. Looking crazy. Man. I, mean, I, have to, I have to do this, or Siori just loses because it's awful. It's fine. You, I think you did really well, though. Yeah. Yeah, he killed Perfect. the side. It's the thing is, like, I wanted to raid Theory, but I can't do much because he's Russian. Yeah, I cannot raid him. If Varley told me that he wants me to kill faster, I would have come to you in H4. That is just, like, terrible. Well, the thing is, like, communication there, bro. I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't raiding you that much because I, I was raiding, um, I just figure out it will be easier to raid. Yeah, you cannot raid Barley. Barley, man. Like if you, uh, yeah, have, I have lookouts everywhere. Lookouts and fucking yeah. tower spams. I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna go raid Barley, and it's just, it's just easier to win. Invite Momo to play. Seems Barley rich with it. Yeah, let's do it. Jack. 
I think Siri is the weakest here, to be honest. I don't know. That's uh, right. Let's just go. We'll see. Man, I'm so happy fucking Barley gave me that free hoplite, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, that hoplite. Oh really my god. Gears. It really helped me. I mean, it's a free unit I get because I don't have a barracks. Yeah, it's just nice. And, and I have the lead over light cap production, so you cannot beat me in light caps. Yeah. It's, it seems like your just ally is hurt you more than actually but he help he didn't help you that much. <laughs> I think like... he, he just had to tell me that he needs me to kill faster. He he says nothing. Gets But but you see what I mean bro? Game. I'm telling you bro, fake barley is a different person. You still don't believe me bro? I'm telling you. I'm not even gonna pin anything to Momo. <laughs> Last game, I wanted to sit forward, but I mean, in the middle, like Lakota does, but I had a very nice starting point there. Maybe that fucked you up a little bit, actually. No, nah, yeah, that was fine. I, I think better to be in, uh, better to have a starting point like that than. Yeah, I guess so, man. Because you, you cannot. Oh, really you had a really good setup there, because it was. Yeah, yeah I can read. Yeah, if, if I go in the center, now you have this huge place where you can raid me. Oh shit. Today. Dude, I just, I hope the Siri doesn't take my ruins. That'd be sad. Oh, nice. Ruins are decent this game. Won't complain much. Let's <laughs> go. 
Look how look how you look at uh what's his name? Look at Sirius Elephant, he's gonna get trapped. So get it. I really hope he hasn't come near my it's gonna get fogged. Chat thing, come on, bro. So we were cool.
Ah, looks like Fury is not a problem there. Yeah, he's not. I think I'm gonna go help Omo actually. Makes sense here. Oh shit, I forgot. Like, I have no mountains. The fuck is this guy doing? Yeah, Siege is like, bro, just go in. I can't believe it, man. By the way, I don't know what Siri is doing because I'm I'm aging, and I'm gonna get minute man. So I don't know wh why, but whatever. I guess if it works for him. Yeah, but that was like I don't know, man. Terrible. Yeah, it's, this is CG for me here. What rares do you guys have there? It's not bad. Call it, bro. My only chance was to rush Momo. Norway British beats that. 
later. Bro, that, that border push though, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and also you're... you're just... Oh my god. I yeah, serious no shit, I told you, bro. Like, there's a massive side here and no mountains on that massive side. Let's go do the <laughs> last one. Oh, nice troll, bro. Insane, bro. Yeah, Siri is really bad. I think we should split him better with someone or yeah, something I don't like know that. How to run him. Wally was going to split for him, but now it's going to be hard. Yeah, I mean, British against Inca is kind of stupid, and especially when I think you also I would get have him. I would double have him, a little but, bit. Yeah, but with the, with the double and the all the border push denying my mountains, nah. I agree. Jerry, I don't know, bro. It feels like he took forever, man. Yeah, I told I told him keep your keep uh, him busy. I I guess he's not even just running into your territory, right? With elephants. I mean, he only did one raid with elephant. I got he got uh, he deleted it because he was gonna get brave. Yeah. And H5 with Minutemen, it's more than enough, honestly. Yeah. Don't have to do, don't have to do anything. Yeah, this won't be funny Just... there. Don't worry, bro. I'm gonna carry you this game. I got you. Sure, bro. If you if you see anything that you want me you want me to block, just tell me. Block. I'm already making it. You know. I got Greek, so nice. I think I should be fine there. I'm gonna win here, bro. Yeah. Now, once you get there, barracks spotted. Hard to come back from that. Can you scout your home rear? Sure, man.
No problem, bro. I got you. Check this once before you leave. I'm surprised that can you make a temple for the tower? Yeah, I'll make a temple. I think I'm gonna go for the boom game. This makes more sense. Careful. Yeah, yeah, I Is that they have really good rares. Uh, don't raid him. Let me just wonder you one here. My units are already there, dude. Alright then.
Yeah, it's the, the amount of money it is for that. Koreans, this up close. How was it going there for Siri? I was fine. I was fine. Oh, okay. I had good ruins this game. Yeah, I won't get ruins. Ooh, my corner ruined this. Still there, bro. You have. I have furs and everything, and I didn't scout. Fur silk. Koreans are nice, man. Their towers are cheap. You could spam so many towers. I'm surprised he never. I think that he never found this. Oh shit! It's 9 p.m., bro. I gotta go. Good games, man. GG's bro, GG's.